There you go, guys. Now that came in the box just exactly for Bert. Yeah. Hey, guys. We got our first box from Wholesale Ninja, and I'm going to show you what's in it. Hold on one second. Hey, guys. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing with you. Um, we got our box today from Wholesale Ninja. I'm really not too pleased with it. If you look around here, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that was in the box. And then I'll put some more on here and show it to you. But we have all these boxes of slimy goop. Or slimy gloop. Then we got Hatchimals. How many did we get Hatchimals? Uh, let's see. These four. These. Oh. No. Yeah, 12. There's 12 of these in the box. Then we got 12 packages of stickers. And then we got Hatchimal Glow Ups. And we got one box that was damaged, which, you know, we expect that, of the Mermaid Sunset Slimy Goop. But then we got, <laughs> we got some kind of blow-up. I guess it's a yard thing for Christmas. And we got, we got these pajamas for men, all medium. Six. six six pairs. Okay, guys, let's see. Here's the rest of it. There's a pair of earrings that are you you may. There is some uh, genuine amber gems, just the gems. And it's not a necklace or nothing. And puka shells. And. <laughs> These are just little chokers, I think. And then, uh, this little bracelet. And that is a brooch. And I think that's a necklace. Then we have Freeze Your Fat Away. That's new in the box. We got two of those, uh, stockings for Christmas. And some ornaments. These little ornaments. And let's see. Here's some more little trinket jewelry. These are all the same. Uh, let's see. We have a ID bracelet for diabetic type 1. And a woman's necklace. Those are them things you put between your toes. I guess when you're painting them. <laughs> And these are some earplug for the people who wear them big earrings in their ears, I guess. <laughs> and some more earrings. And this one I thought was kind of cute. Mother and children. That was pretty. We got some decorative snowflakes. And some little bowls right there. One little shirt. One pair of pajamas for a little boy that's Batman. Then we got six of these shirts or more. Medium, seven to eight for kids with the kitties on them. They're new. And I'm not sure what the reindeer is. It says <laughs> decorative pillow, but it's not a pillow. Probably pillow case is what they meant. And then this down here... I think it is, oh, this is a Christmas tablecloth. And that's all we got except for ears that would light up that Bert was wearing at the very beginning. So, let me get back with you in a second. Okay, guys, that was it. That was the 100 pieces from Warehouse Ninja. And... I, I want to say that I don't think they're all like that because I watched a lot of videos and I don't know, I just, you know, I, 
There were a couple of people that got a bunch of those super gloops or whatever they are like we had uh, in our box. But I think I was kind of disappointed in... There's only a few items there that I think would be great for resale. And the jewelry items, the, they're nice. Don't get me wrong. They're nice. But I make jewelry. And half of, I feel like half if not, yeah, about half was jewelry items. The jewelry items you've seen. And uh, like I said, they're nice items. But when you make jewelry, you really don't want to have a bunch of jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I know. I don't know what I'm talking about right now because I'm aggravated. Because I know that this box is not going to set me on my way to get my RV. Put it that way. Um, the shirts for the kids, they're nice. Uh, the little Batman and Robin uh, pajamas are brand new. But they have a zero 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 price on the tag. Which, I mean, how do you sell that? You know, that's more of a, a giveaway. But, um, so I don't know if that was a return because it was the wrong size or what. I didn't think I bought a box of returns. But anyway, um, I just thought there would be more in the box. And most of the stuff... Like those Hatchimal games, kids don't usually play games unless it's on TV anymore. So, I mean, will I sell them? Maybe. You know, maybe some of them. Most of the stuff I have is the Hatchimal games and the Hatchimal whatever that was that I showed you. And uh, um, the pajamas for men, those are nice. I like them. You know, I'll probably make some money off of them, but they're all size medium. You know, I mean, not everybody in the world is size medium. And did I expect a different kind of box? Yeah, I did. But, you know, I'm kind of wondering, because it's Christmas time, and they put, like, one of those blow-up Christmas dolls you stick in the yard, and uh, a, a Christmas decoration. And, um... It was in the package. The little purple bowls, I don't even know what those are for, but we're going to try to sell them. These are, what do they, they use them for, you know, like we get the, at the store, at the restaurant. Those? Yeah, for for what? Soup bowls. Oh, he says they're Chinese soup the bowls. Chinese I soup don't bowls. know. Anyway, oh God. <sighs> I don't want to. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Will I buy another box from Wholesale Ninja? I probably would. But it's going to be probably a while before I do. Um, I would like to see if anything sells, how long it's going to take to sell. Because, I don't know, that was a general merchandise box. Now, the tags that were on it, you could not scan with the scanner to see what the selling price is. So now I'm going to have to look up the prices on eBay and compare if the stuff is even there, which some of it probably will be. So that's going to take more time than I planned on doing. <laughs> I don't know. Do I sound like I'm complaining? You know, I don't want to be complaining, but I mean, it's just not something I would sell probably on eBay or Amazon. Um, the stuff that I was sent, half of it or more than half is probably saturated on eBay right now. Um, it may sell okay at a flea market, but then again, I don't know. But see, if you go to a flea market, then you have to pay for your weekend there, which, you know, that takes out of your profit too. But I just don't think that this box wholesale... I paid $207 for it because I had a coupon from Lindy, the lady who does the wholesale ninja boxes. And that's why I bought them because I, I watched a lot of her videos. I watched a lot of other people's videos. There was um, one gentleman, like I said, he had a lot of that goop. And 
I guess it was the second box he got, and he was not happy either. So, um, and I know kids do like that stuff, but a lot of the parents don't want them to have it because it gets all over, and a lot of kids just, it's little kids that really want to play with it. Their parents don't want them to have it. You know, I mean, in my opinion, being a parent and grandparent. But anyway, I hope I didn't bore you guys too bad. Um, but this is not a sponsored video whatsoever, so I want to let you know that. It's not worth $125. Um, we did, yeah, it's not worth $225 or whatever it's supposed to be. Not to me. Because I make jewelry, and, you know, there is some jewelry that's uh, expensive, but this is not that kind, that type of jewelry. I mean, it might cost... Ten twenty dollars, maybe, maybe some of the pieces. But anyway, so that's my take on this first box from Wholesale Ninja. Uh, I think it got here pretty quick, but I also feel like it was like it was um, either put together too fast, like they just threw that stuff in there. To be honest with you. Um, the little band that Bert's wearing at the beginning of the video with the lights, that's broke, actually. But So I told him he could have it. And, you know, I, I expect breakage. Don't get me wrong, especially this time of year, you know. But <coughs> highly disappointing. Wish there would have been some other stuff in this box, um, especially this time of year, you know. But, guys, that's my video for now. I have to go and hug Bert because he's kind of, mmm, about the whole box. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed my rant today. You have a great weekend. Love you. Bye.